In this nail art tutorial, I use fake nails, but you don't have to use them if you don't have them. First, I used a red color by OPI to paint my middle and ring finger. Then, paint your middle and ring finger with two coats of OPI red until it is nice, thick, and smooth. Then, I used a tan color. Then, use the tan nail polish to do a swipe across the middle to make the face of the soldier. Now use either a nail art pen or brush. Use either your black nail art pen or small thin brush to make the hat of the British castle soldiers. After finishing the black hat, add two dots for the eyes on the tan, and then do three dots and a line down the little middle of the red section to make the jacket. And then you're done with that. Maybe I know. Now we're done with the cute soldier nail, and now we're gonna work on the other red nail which is going to be the telephone booth. Now put two pieces of tape, I used washi tape because it's easy to pull off, but has clean lines, um, along the side and one across the top, so it makes a rectangle on your nails. Now I'm going to use a white color by OPI called Alpine Snow. Using the same white color I showed you or yours, um, paint the section that has no tape on it with white. It's okay if it gets a little messy because it won't show because of the tape. Right after it dries, tear off all the tape so you get clean rectangle. This will be the windows on your telephone booth. Then use the same nail art tool to make a straight line across your telephone booth. Then check if the white nail polish is dry so you can start on the lines across it. First, do a black line across up and down of the white nail polish. Then, do two across, um, two to three across, so it will look like the windows. Then if you're like me and a little bit messy when you do your nail art, um, use either the same tool you did for the lines or a black nail art brush to paint a outline around the white to give it a fine and nice look. Now add a small box on top of the top line, and now you're done. For my thumb, pinky, and pointer finger, I used a royal blue color. Um, this is by Sally Hansen, um, triple shine, and it's really pretty, but you gotta do multiple layers to make it a dark, rich blue that you want. I used red gems on my pinky finger. Then, using a daughter tool, 
add clear top coat to the tip of the daughter tool and get the gem by the top and place it onto your wet royal blue colored pinky nail. Then repeat the process until you have a nice cross both ways. Now you're done! So you have a cute cross on your pinky nail and it's super easy! Tape your nail the same as your telephone booth. For the next part, I use a coppery colored nail polish. Then, as the same as you did on your telephone booth, use the coppery color nail polish and paint in the spot of the blue that is not covered by the tape. The only exception. Then use the same white as you used before and a daughter tool for the next part. Make a dot in the middle of the rectangle and slowly keep on dabbing to make a bigger circle. This will become your clock. Then with a nail art marker or brush, Outline the outside of the gold rectangle, which will be the Big Ben. When the white circle has dried, then add a dot in the center with one long line coming to the top and short line to the side. These will be the handles of your clock. Then add dots around the circle, so those will be the numbers. To start off the Union Jack, add two pieces of tape diagonally, and then paint it with white nail polish. This will be your first line. Then do the same with the other side. Then paint a thick middle line. For this, I did not use tape. Then do a thick line across this will be the other cross. Make sure it's really thick for the red will be on top. Then, with a nail art brush, use a red color similar to the ones used on your other nails and paint several strokes to make a thick line going up and down across your nail over the white and across side to side on your nail to make the red cross of your Union Jack. Now you have finished all your nail designs and just add top coat and you're done! Hope you like this tutorial of my British nail art. 